And gentlemen, we'd like to welcome you out to the Kaysville. You hear me now? All right. I'd like to welcome you out to our special uh, public hearing for the Kaysville City 2016 and 2017 uh, budgets. We have amendments to the city fiscal year 2016 budgets and consideration of the Kaysville City fiscal year 2017 budgets. The City Council has met in a work, station, work session uh, this past Saturday and uh, discussed the budgets in detail. And uh, those, uh, those were took place here in this meeting and also streamed on our Kaysville Live YouTube channel. Um, that said, we'll ask our finance director maybe to just give us a brief overview, maybe a five minute overview, Dean, just of uh, the, the, the main points of the, um, of the, the 2016 amendments and the 2017 budget, and then would, uh, we'll open it up for public comment. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, the budget hearing, uh, as advertised, gives the, the opportunity to the public to come and review the budget. And, and make comments in regards to, to the budget. There are two items uh, for this hearing. Uh, the first item is amendments to the Kaysville City fiscal year 2016 budgets, uh, governmental funds. Uh, as you mentioned, Mayor, we spent considerable time uh, Saturday in a work session reviewing amendments and, and the budget overview. Uh, the, the first item here um, includes the amendments and it's uh, necessary from time to time to, to amend the budget uh, during the fiscal year. So we are suggesting uh, that this be a hearing item and then uh, suggest that action be taken at our next city council meeting uh, two weeks from tonight. Uh, we're, we're suggesting the general fund uh, increase from uh, 13,412,921 to fourteen million one hundred and thirty-six thousand six hundred and seventy-one dollars. Uh, the bulk of that is attributable to a, a Class C road project, uh, a project that was approved in in fifteen and becomes a timing issue in regards to, to payment. Uh, also includes amendments to the redevelopment agency fund. Uh, original budget three hundred ninety thousand, an amended budget of a million. $355,000, an increase of $965,000. And the reason for that amendment is uh, to account for uh, the sale of property that the agency held, and then also the, uh, the expenditure on, on two interfund loans that the city has between the redevelopment agency and the general fund. Uh, debt service fund amendment includes uh, an increase from 145,500 to 162,500, an increase of $17,000, and that's to properly account for a capital lease. And our parks department uh, is a multi-year obligation, so we want to account for that in the debt service fund. And then the final uh, governmental fund that we propose amending uh, is the capital projects fund actually a decrease from $665,000 to 78,500, uh, reduction of $475,000, and, and most of that's attributable to uh, delaying uh, capital projects. So that's the, the items for the, the 16. I, I think we could welcome anyone that would want to speak on those issues, or we could do it together combined. I think if you'll give us a summary of the 2017 fiscal budget, we'll just have the public hearing okay. uh, include comments for the 16 amendments and the 17 budget, if okay. uh, those that are here agree with that. And, and we do have some paperwork here if, if people would like to get a, a copy of that. I know I perishes. Yeah. Uh, the budget overview for fiscal year 2017 is a pretty straightforward budget. There are no increased program costs, no additional personnel. It's actually about a, in the, in the general fund, about a 1% increase over, over current year. So um, pretty uh, insignificant as far as an increase. The, the governmental funds include $16,345,000 and $16,345,650 and the general fund makes up the bulk of that, 83% of a budget of about 
million five hundred thousand. And then enterprise activities, uh, those are the activities uh, for utilities that we operate similar to a business, including our, our sanitation fund, stormwater fund, water fund, sewer, and power uh, enterprise activities. And uh, of course, the, the power fund is about 62% of, of the total enterprise activities. But as I mentioned, um, uh, no, no additional fees, no additional taxes, uh, no additional programs, uh, pretty much of a carryover from current year. Thank you. Does that feel good on summary? The purpose of this uh, meeting tonight is for a public hearing. Uh, we have a couple of council members, it sounds like at least one that is stuck in traffic. And, uh, and so uh, fortunately the meeting is uh, uh, recorded and maybe they're watching on their phones, but we don't have to have a quorum available, I guess, to have the, uh, to have the public hearing, although it would be uh, ideal. Uh, that being said, we have until 7 p.m. for all four of you to say as much as you'd like, so we, <laughs> or five. Uh, we, we usually will say, ask you to keep your comments limited to three minutes, but uh, we may, maybe we'll suspend that rule in, in light of our time and, and those who are in attendance known all reality, we'll, we'll like to still try and keep to, to that rule, but certainly uh, we're, we're not uh, pressed for time. So uh, with that, we'll open the uh, public hearing for the 2016 uh, budget amendments and the 2017 budget. And Dean, those things that you're reading are in our binder currently, or were there some adjustments made to what we have in our binder? Yeah, our intent is to, after the public hearing, if there are any additional changes, then, then we'll, we'll, add that. we'll give you a change sheet for, for your binders. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Laureen Kamalu, thank you so much for having this meeting. Just a few things after having attended the work session for the budget that um, I am very excited about the financing that's possible for the Pioneer Park to get started on that, and it's actually a really great way to save some money to take advantage of the loan rates right now. That was very exciting news. Congratulations on investigating that and finding it out. Wanted to speak in support of it. Um, <clears throat> I know that roads have been something being discussed quite a bit lately as well. Uh, just today I was driving around a little bit in West Kaysville with my son in graduation visits and uh, just noticing that I'm seeing, well, Burton was exciting because it's already kind of ripped up, <laughs> which is great. Some of the other roads <clears throat> definitely have some bumps. Uh, we have bumps over along Hate Creek Drive again too. It seems like in the spring, you just see everything that's opened up after the winter thaw, you know? And so um, I think I'm just noticing that we're kind of a, a town that's not so country anymore and there's certainly work to be done, but I was expecting to feel uh, even bumpier rides along Sunset and along Angel than I did and there are bumps, but I think we're not ruining our cars quite yet. <laughs> So I'm, I'm in favor, certainly, of continuing to figure out, along with the rest of our state, how we can take the Prop 1 money and whatever other money to keep up with the maintenance on our roads. It does seem like usually maintenance is cheaper than repair, so I'm a fan of, of uh, getting the best quality work in the first place and then maintaining it, and I, I trust that our city has tried to do that as well as possible over the years. and, and um, we certainly have work right now to do, too. So that's my observation on roads. I'm just really grateful that we are a financially conservative city. Grateful that our great bond rating is evidence of that. Um, and I'm really grateful for all of the work of our staff and our council. Thank you for taking a really good look at the budget and trying to do the best that we can as a city with it. Thank you. Yes. 
Any other comments from the public? I'm going to do something a little different. Um, I'm going to recommend that we take a recess till 6:30. Um, I know we don't have. It doesn't sound like anybody else wants to take an opportunity to uh, comment, at least now. We also don't have a full council here either, which I don't think is uh, anything legally wrong with that, but just feels kind of wrong <laughs> to get a, to have a public hearing uh, without a voting majority here to, to hear it. And that being said, uh, so we have until seven o'clock. Instead of having that awkward, just sitting here and having us stare at you for the next 45 minutes, uh, I'm going to recommend that we uh, go into a temporary recess with our uh, public our budget hearing, and let's reconvene at 6:30 or 6:35, and uh, perhaps we'll have some more council members here, and perhaps we'll have some more from the public. Uh, unless any of you, uh, the other four of you, would like to, to address the council at this point. All right. Uh, well, Parish, the only thing that's on my mind is the we, safety of these roads. We that's just. Uh, will you come up to the microphone, Walt? Sorry. Well, Parish, the only thing that's on my mind all the time is the concern of having these roads safe. That's where we ought to put our money. And we got some problems with some of these roads. No, we're not going to die. I've, I've lived in Wyoming, <laughs> so <laughs> I know what roads are like. But around here, uh, people are going faster than they normally would, and so we've got to compensate for that somehow. Uh, this going to school, these kids going to school and not having a safe way is constantly on my mind. We've got to solve that somehow. Maybe you've got to tax us more, but those kids' lives are more important than us squabbling over some taxes. You know, we live in a pretty good country here. We can afford to do this. Thank you. Thanks. Any other comments? All right. We're going to stand in recess until 635, and we'll see if you have any additional comments that come up in the meantime. Thank you. To address the city council, we will uh, stand the budget hearing uh, adjourned and convene our city council meeting at 7 p.m. Thank you.